Hey there, Kurt Haynes here, and just doing this video, it's a tutorial for Darius Mosey, Secrets to Their Playing, Part 4. Um, after a while, I started getting a few requests, and as, it's, as requested, here is that video, here's a tutorial. Um, my only disclaimer is, um, I'm not Jerry as Mosey, so I'm not going to be able to play it the way he does, but this is just what I got from the video, you know, playing by ear, listening to it, watching it a few times, and, you know, just working it out on my guitar. So, first I'll play it regular, or regular speed, I guess, and second time around I'll do more of a breakdown. And the song, so this whole thing is basically, you know, around D minor or F major. All the notes are in the F major scale. All right. <laughs> Alright, well, that's what I gathered from that section of the video. Um, be sure to check it out. I left the link in the description below, so check out the video, um, the original video. So, what we got here? Got a D minor chord, or D minor 7, you know. D minor, D minor 7. Um, uh, I'm going to be really light on the names of the chords um, because there's lots of most the melodies basically in you know the higher notes of the chords here um, so all right we got D minor seven and or as as the other video would show. And then we go into a G minor seven. There's lots of um, you know, pinky movement with this song. So basically, you know, you've got the G minor seven chord and with your pinkies doing it's hammering on on the G string in the fifth fret as you after you strum it so you go After you hammer on, you want to play second string or the B string. Then we move to the A minor seven chord. So. It's the same idea, you know. It's an extra note here. You ha you're going to hammer on the B string in the seventh, rather the eighth fret. So
So you can just completely let go of the chord there. You're basically going into the hammer on after you strum or during. So what you're doing here is you're barring the 10th fret with your first finger and you could use either your third or fourth finger to play this E note here on the E string 12th fret. So. You can hammer that as well. And you got a G minor variation here. Basically barring 10th fret. Everything from, you know, 5th string down. And you got your 2nd finger in the B string 11th fret. And now, what you want to do, you can either completely just go on your own or slide all the way up to the 14th fret, I mean the 15th fret, excuse me, <laughs> so this is another, um, what you call it, G minor variation, you got this, and this, remember, So it's basically the same kind of chord that we have here, except it's on the your first strings. Your first finger is on the twelfth fret instead. So right now it's on the twelfth fret, but what you want to do is you also want to do this. come back over here and well this is my way you'll have your first finger on the fifth string fifth fret wow you'll have your first finger on the fifth fret and you'll have your fourth finger on the eighth fret in the on the E string so once you come back from this So it sounds like this. At at this point, you know, Jerry as he does he does this this lick. Um you're always free to do that, or you can always, you know, throw in your own little thing. Um, what I do is I basically like arpeggiate a D minor chord with a few extra notes. Doesn't have to be in time since you're, you know, this is a more of a solo guitar riff. And after you do whatever riff you want to do, you can go back to the G minor chord. Yeah, that'd be the right way. And 
Now what you're doing, you've got an A minor, but you're basically changing the voice. So you go from D minor, and you do this in the A minor. to G minor. What I'm doing here is I've got my fourth finger playing this A on the E string. And I've got my fourth finger playing this F on the B string. You can work this out on your own. Basically, it's three diminished chords leading up to a D minor. So, it could be this. It could be this. Well, not, not, maybe not that, but it could be this instead. So, we're back at D minor now. So you instead maybe like how we did this earlier with our third finger on the E, e string on this E note, maybe you want to use your fourth finger instead this time. As you slide from the tenth fret to the twelfth fret, and once you get to the twelfth fret, your fourth finger is gonna be on the G of the E string. So we've got that A minor variation from earlier. So you're moving from the 12th fret to the 9th fret with the same chord. It's like it's basically like a passing tone. So you're really supposed to be here if you were in key, but since it makes it sound kind of funky, you're actually going to be on the ninth fret. point we're going to move to the fourth fret and you're going to play an A flat minor chord and basically slide it to the fifth fret so you've got your A minor so from that part beginning of that part again Back to D minor now. Now you want to play an F major seven chord, and you want to hammer on your fourth finger on the tenth fret of the B string after you've moved from the D minor. So. You might want to play the C chord, the C note again. So that high D minor variation. Now you're doing a G minor. Another hammer on with your fourth finger. And playing the string right below the the wherever you hammer on. 
So in this case, you're hammering on the B string. Then you're going to play the E string right after. Now you're going to slide up to the 15th fret. And you want to slide back now to the 12th fret. Same hammer on technique. And now you want to play an E minor 7th chord. So from the top of that part again. Now we want to go back to D minor. So what I'm doing there is I'm strumming the D minor chord. Let it ring just for a little while. And then take my fourth finger and I'm going to play this C here on the eighth fret. Like that. And you want to come over here. It's a G minor chord. And this time we've got our fourth finger on the fifth fret of the E string on the A. With the A minor, we've got our fourth finger on the eighth fret of the B string on this G here. Now, I'm not certain of the name of this chord, but it's basically a substitution for a B flat major chord or, uh, you know, an A sharp major chord. What we've got here is I've got my first finger, you know, on the fifth fret. I've got my second finger on the sixth fret of the E string. This A sharp or this B flat here. And I've got my third finger on the second fret of the B string. Excuse me. <laughs> I've got my second I've got my third finger on the sixth fret of the B string. And for all intents and purposes you can play every string for this chord. Then I move to the sixth fret and I've got an E flat or D sharp major seventh chord. You can hammer if you want but and after that I'm going to slide into that G minor variation and basically play whatever so from the top of that part again well that's how I ended that part um, if you want to turn it around there's different ways you can turn it around from here you play a C um, C dominant or you know C7 or C dominant 7th rather so back to D minor from there. Another thing you can do, if you don't have the pick in hand, you can play a G minor 9, take your second finger from here, doing here is 
I've got my second finger on the fifth string, tenth fret. Got my third finger on the third string, tenth fret. And I've got my fourth finger on the second string, tenth fret. And I've got my first finger in the eighth fret of the fourth string. What I'm doing here is I'm basically playing a bass line sort of with my second finger here. So after I do this, sliding up from the C sharp to the D. I get this chord going here. The 13 chord here. The C13. And notes I've got here. I've got my first finger on the 8th fret, 5th string. 6th string got my 2nd finger 8th fret 4th string got my 3rd finger in the ninth fret 3rd string and got my 4th finger in the 10th fret of the B string or 2nd string basically a turn around into a F major 7th so after you slid up or you can do this Welcome to, you know, rewind the parts of this video that you want to see again, of course, and, you know, tell me what you thought of the tutorial, if it helped, if I messed up on any chord names, which I probably did, um, we're all musicians and we're all growing and we're all learning at a different pace, and I'm always welcome to constructive criticism, so... You know, leave your comments. Um, be sure to subscribe to Kurt Haynes to be up to date with the latest videos that I'll be putting out in the near future. And I hope I didn't drag along too much. And hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, have a good one.